Hey there guys and welcome to this video on NPK fertilizers. You need to know what an NPK fertilizer is. You need to know that it is something which contains salts which consist of the elements nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, right? That's where the letters NPK come from, right? You need to know what those different salts are and you need to know how they're made, really like what reagents are used to make them. And finally, you need to be aware that a fertilizer or an NPK fertilizer at least is a formulation, which means it's a mixture containing a specific percentage ratio of different compounds. Okay, so let's crack straight on. All right, so let's crack straight on and have a look at the different salts that you need to know. Okay, there's quite a list. Uh, this uh, this table uh, wasn't produced by me. It's probably neater than anything I could have made. Um, but let's take a quick look. So first one, ammonium nitrate, right? You see that it contains nitrogen. Okay, that's produced by the reaction of ammonia with nitric acid. By the way, all of these reactions we're going to go through in the upcoming slides. But I just want you to be aware of all the different salts. So you've got ammonium nitrates, ammonium sulfates, ammonium phosphates. Okay, now, these are the ones you won't be having a look at how we produce because, well, they're actually mined, right? You get them out of the ground. So, potassium chloride and potassium sulfates, you mine those out of the ground. That's absolutely fine. They they contain, sorry, potassium, which plants need, which is great, Um but we don't need to actually produce them via reaction with ammonia or phosphate rock. So that's good. The rest of them, however, we do. So the rest of them, we need to react ammonia with things or we need to react phosphate rock with things. And so that is what we're going to have a look at. So here is a nice diagram. So ammonia. Now, if you, if you haven't seen my video on the harbor process, please go and have a look at that you will realize that ammonia is a very important substance, right? And this is one of the main reasons ammonia is used to produce many different uh, comp compounds which are put in fertilizers. Now, ammonia, okay, first of all, this arrow here means that ammonia is used to actually make nitric acid, okay? Nitric acid being a reagent which is then used, okay? So ammonia is used to make nitric acid, Okay, but then ammonia, ammonia, sorry, ammonia, ammonia plus that nitric acid produces ammonium nitrate, which is one of the salts containing nitrogen which we need in our fertilizers, right? Basically, if you react ammonia with one of your three strong acids, right, which simplifies this diagram a little bit, then you produce your salts. So ammonia plus nitric acid makes ammonium nitrate, ammonia plus sulfuric acid makes ammonium sulfate. Ammonia plus phosphoric acid makes ammonium phosphate, right? So pretty, pretty basic there. And so those three things are very important. Now, moving on, we have this slightly more complicated looking thing. So I'm going to simplify it for you. Okay, first of all, this thing here, right? Phosphate, phosphate rock, phosphate rock. Now, this is an important um an important substance which is mined, right? It contains phosphate, of course. It actually contains various phosphate minerals, right? And you don't need to know what those minerals are, so that is great. Now, first of all, phosphate rock can be used to produce one of the reagents again. So, phosphate rock plus nitric acid, and bear in mind we found out how to produce nitric acid from ammonia in the previous example, right? If you add that nitric acid to phosphate rock, you get phosphoric acid, Right. Funnily enough, phosphoric acid is one of the reagents here. So you see that this could actually be even more complicated than this diagram makes out. Right. But phosphate rock plus nitric acid makes phosphoric acid. Right. Then phosphoric acid is used with other things. Right. However, that reaction also produces calcium nitrate. Calcium nitrate is one of our minerals that we want, one of our salts that we want. So that's good. Now, phosphate rock plus phosphoric acid. Okay, so going this way and this way produces triple superphosphate, right? Triple superphosphate, which is calcium phosphate. It's one of the important salts that we need. Phosphate rock plus sulfuric acid produces single superphosphate, right? Which is calcium phosphate and calcium sulfate, right? So that is great as well. That's another one of the salts or mixture of the salts that we need. Uh, phosphoric acid on its own, right? If you add that to ammonia... Okay, which obviously we looked at in the previous page. If you have add phosphoric acid to ammonia, you get ammonium phosphate. And we actually saw exactly that, right? There. 
But this is included just to show that, you know, it's not it's not first step followed by second step. It's just you add these two things together and that is your result. So that was a lot and it might seem confusing. Let's just summarize quickly. Okay, the salts that we want, ammonium phosphate, ammonium sulfate, ammonium nitrate, right? Those three things can be made by reacting ammonia with acids, right? Ammonia plus the acids gives you those salts. Just importantly, we can actually make the acids or, or make nitric acid using ammonia as well, right? In a separate reaction. Okay, then phosphate rock, okay, plus other things is going to make our... Um, our salts. So phosphate rock plus your acids. If you add sulfuric acid, you get single superphosphate. If you add phosphoric acid, you get triple superphosphate. And bear in mind that you, if you add nitric acid, you make phosphoric acid, but you also make calcium nitrate, which is another important one. Right? And that's basically it. So phosphate rock, okay, if you want, if you want an easy way to remember, phosphate rock plus the three strong acids, so sulfuric acid, nitric acid, phosphoric acid is going to give you your salts. Also ammonia plus the three strong acids, sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, nitric acid gives you your salts. And they're nice and easy to work out. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, importantly, those arrows can confuse things. Just remember that phosphate rock and ammonia are your two starting reagents. If you add your acids to them, then you get your salts. Okay. Then you just want to remember how we can actually make the acids. Um, and that's why you've got your extra arrows. Okay. And that is it. So I hope that made sense. Um, oh, sorry. One last thing is that your, your NPK fertilizers. Let's go back up here. Your NPK fertilizers right, NPK fertilizers, they contain a mixture of all of these, right, of all of the salts that we discussed. And they contain them in a specific proportion. And that depends on which fertilizer you're using and what exactly you want. Some of them contain more nitrogen than they do phosphorus and potassium, uh, and, and so on and so on and so on, right. And the, uh, the different formulations give you different different results right they're, they're suitable for different kinds of plants or for different purposes so for, for different kinds of growth or or if you want that plant to produce more protein etc etc you use different kinds of fertilizers for that right but importantly these fertilizers are formulations they're not just random mixtures they're actually made specifically with the proportions in mind all right, and that is that. I hope that did make sense. If you do have any questions, feel free to comment in the box below or send me a direct email. Uh, I will be sure to get back to you. As usual, please like and subscribe because that really does help me out. And I look forward to seeing you, of course, in the next one.